this video, we're going to take a look at an app called Printer Pro. Printer Pro is an application that allows you to print direct from your iPad to the printer that is connected to your computer, as the name implies. Uh, Printer Pro is a wonderful alternative um, to wireless printing. So some of you may have like an HPE printer, a lot of you probably don't. So a couple of good reasons to go with an app like Printer Pro is one, you don't have to go out and buy a new printer uh, if you don't have a wireless printer. And secondly, even if you do have, for example, an HPE printer, the, uh, the HP software um, combats with the Striker VPN software and causes a lot of problems, which will uh, actually knock you off of the VPN um, after like five seconds. So it becomes a hassle and there's no real fix as of uh, the making of this video right now to fix that. So this app is a wonderful alternative. We're gonna go through one, how to install the companion software on your PC and then two, how to install the app on your iPad as well as the functionality and usability of the app. So the first thing we need to do, uh, as stated, is go into our laptop and uh, open up your Internet Explorer. And we need to go to the webpage www.readdle.com, R-E-A-D-D-L-E.com. And we're going to search under products here scroll down until you see the printer pro now, icon and go ahead and click right on that icon which will bring up the printer pro page and again we're going to scroll down to the bottom of this page uh, until we see this link support.reattle.com slash ppd go ahead and click that link which is going to open up the download page and click the four windows button going to bring up your bar down here and go ahead and click run. We're going to go ahead and download and run this software package immediately. Go ahead and hit install when the pop-up box pops up for the installation and wait for this puppy to download. It was that quick so it may take a little longer on your machine. So go ahead and leave this uh, check mark checked run printer pro desktop and hit finish. out of this page here and as you see the companion software installed this uh, companion software down here at the bottom of our of our screen printer pro desktop you can click at it click in it, excuse me to get into um, get into the settings of the printer pro desktop so guys that's all there is to do uh, with the uh, install the companion software you will see down here there's an IP address and auth authorization code Basically, we're going to use this code when we install the app on our iPad, which is going to tell the iPad where to send the print job. So that's it, and we're going to head over to the, the iPad. The next step is to download and open the Printer Pro application on our iPad. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and go to your app store. And up here in the search bar, you're going to want to search for Printer Pro and then hit your enter or return search button. And uh, it's going to be the, the application on the very top left, Printer Pro. So the app does cost $6.99, and if you need to, go ahead and check with your manager before you purchase. Uh, but again, it is going to be much cheaper than buying a whole new printer uh, that is uh, ePrint capable. So once you've downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and go find that application on our iPad, and we're gonna open it up. Printer Pro. And as soon as this application opens up, the first thing that you're going to see that really jumps out at you is the Add Printer button, the big blue button on the top right hand side. So we need to add a printer uh, into our iPad, which tells the iPad where to send the print job. So we're gonna go ahead and add printer here, just touch that button. And hopefully uh, you see a list of uh, probably just one, I have a couple, but the, the printer that you uh, just, excuse me, the computer you just installed the companion software on, it should be listed there. Um, mine is MED001911 is my Striker laptop. So as you can see, it's already showing up here. Uh, and if yours does, you can just go ahead and touch that, that printer and then the next step button lights up blue and go ahead and touch that button to go to the next step. So the next step after you've done that is again, just follow the big, the big blue buttons, just uh, print test page, touch that and Basically what you just saw is the iPad sending uh, the print job through my computer to my printer and you can hear my printer turn on printing that page. So I know mine looks good, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go back here 
and cancel setup, I want to show you how to add your printer manually uh, in case it doesn't show up in that section. So we're going to go ahead, add that printer again by hitting that button. And if you don't see your printer in this, uh, in this section, the red button add manually is where you want to go. So hit that add manually button and you're going to want to hit IP printing, which is the left button. And once you've done that, uh, if you remember in the first, uh, the first part of this video, I showed you how to click on the, the Printer Pro icon on your computer. I showed you there was an IP address, an authorization code. This is where you would type your IP address, and then after that, you'd hit the next step button here, and you'd enter your authorization code and uh, Printer Pro would find your printer attached to your computer. So if for some reason it's not showing up here in this add your printer section, that's how you would add it manually. If you have questions about that, if it's not working for you, you can go ahead and email me, david.tromley at striker.com or call my cell phone and I'd be happy to walk you through it. So, uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and, and finish this install. Uh, again, hopefully your printer is there in this in this box. So we're gonna touch that next step, print test page like we did before, and you're gonna hear my printer uh, kick on. And I can tell you already because I've already looked at it that the the picture does look good. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the looks good button. And guys, that's it. We're ready to go. The setup on your iPad is complete. So hit the start printing button. So after that, once you have this Printer Pro application set up, you can pretty much print from any application that you want to. You can print from your email, you can print from a web page, you can print documents from Dropbox or documents from Docs2Go. Uh, so this will be your kind of your one-stop shop. So real quick, there's, uh, there's eight buttons on the left-hand side versus your documents. Kind of, if you read through that, it's gonna tell you how to send a document to the Printer Pro app to print. Uh, the clipboard is kind of a, it's a copy paste feature. You can paste anything into this clipboard into Printer Pro and it'll print for you. Um, you can also print contacts if you turn it on, which I don't. Uh, photos, it's going to look at your camera roll and you can print any photo as well to your printer. Uh, mail is, uh, is as it's described, it shows you how to print from your, uh, from any mail attachment. Web pages, you can print from web pages, and then uh, pages you probably don't need to worry about. But the last one down there on the left is Dropbox. This is going to show you how to print direct from Dropbox. So we're going to walk through a few of these things just so you get a feel of uh, how the Printer Pro application works and how to use other applications to print through Printer Pro. And the one thing I want to uh, highlight for you guys is under that Add Printer button, it's always there. You're going to see the, the printers that are alive and active. It's the MED001911 for me, which is my Striker laptop. Yours should be similar. So uh, if you don't see that there, you're not going to be able to print. But once you've installed it, it should always be there. So let's go ahead and go back into Dropbox. Here we'll open up the Dropbox and we're just going to select a file to print. Wait for it to load. And let's just select this file right here. And we're gonna print this file. So uh, if you looked at the Dropbox video, this is going to be familiar. If you didn't, uh, it's pretty similar in every application you print from. You just wanna look for kind of an export export button, uh, which for Dropbox is going to be right here on the top right side. And you're always gonna to wanna to look for an in, open in button after you've clicked that icon. So open in. Printer Pro. Once we hit that open in Printer Pro button, Printer Pro is going to take that file and load it within the Printer Pro app itself and give you a preview of what your print job is going to look like. So the next thing that you need to do is just hit your print button. And it's going to open up printer options. Uh, you know, there's not very many options, but it's your basic ones that'll get the job done. So you can print more than one copy. Um, orientation, you can obviously select portrait or landscape. We're gonna go portrait though, and then hit that print button again. And as you can see, Printer Pro has successfully sent that job again through my computer to my printer. So your printer always has to be connected to the computer you set the companion software up with. Uh, but most likely you will never change that. So guys, it's really as simple as that. Let's go look at a, uh, a mail document, for example. Let's see if we can pull one up here. And Praveen sent me a nice email. 
So we'll open this up. And guys, again, look, there's that export button at the top right. Uh, pretty much all the apps that you find on your iPad are gonna be the same. We're gonna hit that button right there and we're gonna open in Printer Pro just like this, just the same way we did with Dropbox. And you're gonna see Printer Pro is going to open up this document the same way as we did before. So just taking some time to prepare the document and we'll wait for that to finish. And as you can see, it's prepared the document and it's ready to print. So we'll go ahead and print this one the same way. And you can see with, with a, a document that's a little bit bigger, you have uh, a little bit more um, functionality in the printer options. You can change uh, the pages you want to print to. We're going to just print page two and three. That's all I really want. Back to printer options. And we want two copies. And that's good to go. So we'll go ahead and print that. And it's literally just that simple. Once you've gone through the installation process of the companion software on your, on your laptop and the Printer Pro app install on your iPad and you've, you've uh, paired the two or you've, you've synced them together, printing is really just that easy. The one thing I just wanna make sure you remember, guys, it doesn't really matter um, you know what application you're in just always look for that export button and remember to open in printer pro if you do that you'll never have an issue we're gonna go back to this Dropbox test document that I created in the Dropbox video and as you can see I can open in here as well open in printer pro it's going to go ahead and open and prepare this document in Printer Pro, which will then allow me to print it. So uh, what I'm trying to exemplify, guys, is really most applications you can download. You can edit documents. You can view documents on your, iP on your iPad will allow you to print through this Printer Pro application. It's, it's so easy. I actually think it's easier than having an e-printer, and you won't have any uh, problems with the Striker VPN if you use this app. So. As you can see, we've opened up this file and we're ready to print this one as well. I'll just go ahead and print it. Print and go. One last example I want to show you, we're just going to throw this example right here in the middle, is the clipboard functionality, which comes in handy when you're trying to print an RWO report from CRM On Demand on your iPad. So quickly, uh, go into the Safari browser and uh, pull up an RWO that you would like to print. Uh, it's going to be the same way that you would do it on your, your iPad. So click the click here link on the RWO detail report, uh, which is going to bring up that, uh, that report. Go down to the printer friendly link at the bottom and hit the HTML uh, link and you're going to see your search report pull up again just nice and clean for printing. So. What I want you to do is just tap on, tap and hold on any white space on the screen, and um, I want you to copy. Uh, this isn't it, but here let's do it again. Tap on the white space, and then use your handles basically to select the entire, uh, the entire screen, and then hit the copy button that pops up. This is going to copy this selection onto the clipboard. So next, we need to go down into the Printer Pro app again. And as soon as it opens, on the left-hand side, second from the top, you'll see the clipboard button. And as you see, what we just copied is now on the clipboard for printing. So it's just uh, simply that easy. The last thing you copied is going to show up in the clipboard in Printer Pro, and you can hit that print button. It's going to prepare the document for you and open up the print settings again here for you. And uh, you can select your, you know, whatever options you want, and then just hit the print button again and it's going to print that report for you. So could very well come in handy if you're like me and you use CRM on demand on your iPad, which I pretty much do exclusively. This is a great way uh, to print reports for customers, etc. So that's about it. Again, if you have any questions uh, about how to set up this, this application or the software with your PC or how to sync the two, please either email me at david.trombley at striker.com or give my, give my cell phone a call and we'll walk you through it. This can really save you a lot of headache. You don't have to transfer files back and forth between your computer and your printer. Um, 
but you can you can just print them direct from from printer pro so i hope this has been helpful and we'll see you in the next video Thank you.